Hi YouTube. Uh, I want to discuss today uh, an idea that uh, I actually got from Ken Wheeler, the angry photographer. Uh, this is about using an LED uh, light. It's a battery operated light. This one just happens to be the Godox LED 64. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. It's pretty simple. It's pretty cheap. Uh, it's not a lot of money at all. But I do uh, some macro photography. I uh, just want to show you today's setup. Uh, I've got the Godox light on top of the Nikon D700 with the uh, Nikkor 60mm f 2.8D autofocus uh, micro lens. Um, now what Ken Wheeler uh, mentioned about these lights is uh, they're okay. The light's a little harsh. Uh, they're inexpensive. They're, they're used for uh, videography. They're not really used for still photography. However, Ken had a, another idea um, about these. These are uh, Capiz shells. Uh, they're natural. Uh, they're found uh, in the ocean. Uh, they're pretty cheap. These shells are, uh, you can get like 25 of them for seven bucks on Amazon. I put a little piece of tape up here. And what I found is on this Godox LED uh, unit, you can take one of these shells, Capiz shells, C-A-P-I-Z, and you can fit it in on the bottom here. All right, you can just kind of like wedge it in so it doesn't slip down. And then you could just take a piece of tape on top. Now I did have a rubber band on this originally, but you know, it only has 64 LEDs and uh, I didn't want the rubber band to block any of them. So uh, I want to show you, I'm going to take a, a, a macro shot of this little figurine here um, using this uh, this setup all right so let's see if I can do this one hand at first we'll turn on the Godox light now what this shell does um, is it does two things it softens the LED light but it also changes the color cast to a very nice, natural, uh, on the reddish hues, pinkish hues, not too much. But what I like about it is uh, the softness of it. And you can get uh, pretty close to your subject. Let's see. All right. Let me just take this. Yeah. I dropped the phone. We just get uh, pretty close to this subject. All right, and now we'll take a look at the back. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, here's the result. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, now you'll see. Um, this was done with no flash. The lighting in this room is pretty dim. Um, any any uh, change in the colors, if it's too blue, you could always change in post in uh, Photoshop or Lightroom. But uh, I, I did want to show you this little setup uh, for not only macro work, but for any kind of work that you doing that you just want a controllable fill light for your still photography. All right, uh, this worked out good for me. So once again, that's a Capiz shell. Let me shut this off. Oh, by the way, this dims. It has a dimmer The uh, on the uh, LED unit. Okay, uh, this is the Godox LED 64. Um, pretty simple it's got a dimmer takes four a batteries uh, it says it can take uh, external power I don't have that uh, unit but uh, and you could always stack them too 
it has a cold shoe on top and on the right and on the left you can stack them but I just discovered this today that you can really use these for controllable fill light close distance all right this isn't going to light up a room at all but I did want to point out and thank Ken Wheeler for the idea of using these capiz shells um, for softening uh, any kind of strong light and for adding a nice uh, warmth of color to any kind of lighting and uh, like I said these are pretty indestructible alright thanks for watching